You like the entrance. You know, the way I come flying in, hit the old Axel Rose pose right on the downbeat. Sally won't like it. It's too hard rock. It's gotta be softer. Softer? What do you mean, softer? Oh, I hate softer. Softer is for pillows, for ice cream. Music has gotta move. It's gotta be pedal to the metal. It's gotta. Ballad. Ballad? Smelling? Nuh uh. No way, man. Ballads make me wanna hurl. Ugh. Oh, chunkage contained. So said Teal was picking flowers. He was. Two minutes ago. <laughs> the foul little beast is ours, Clack. Yes. It worked. There's the hedgehog. Bomber one. The hedgehog is directly behind you. Forget the small one. Get Sonic. Get him. Get him. Hint I deal. 
Shield, we're choosing Warp 7! Hey, Sonic! Over here! Little news, Bulletin Robotnik. Read the old lips. You are history done through. Out of here. Cause the Freedom Fighters are up and on the job! We're there! Hi, Mom! Wait. Mark my words, Hedgehog. Before this day is done, you and the Power Rings will be right in the palm of my hand. Should we hold our breath, guys? No way! No way! No, uh -uh. No. Let's juice! Wake up call, guys! The Hedgehog has landed! Wow, how fast did we go, Sonic? We were scooting and rooting, little bro. Aw, oh, no way! Scooting and rooting? Yup, scooting and rooting. Thomas is a tank engine who lives at a big station on the island of Sodor. He's a cheeky little engine with six small wheels, a short stumpy funnel, a short stumpy boiler, and a short stumpy dome. He's a fussy little engine too, always pulling coaches about ready for the big engines to take on long journeys. And when trains come in, he pulls the empty coaches away so that the big engines can go and rest. Thomas thinks no engine works as hard as he does. He loves playing tricks on them, including Gordon, the biggest and proudest engine of all. Thomas likes to tease Gordon with his whistle. Wake up, lazy bones. Why don't you work hard like me? One day, after pulling the big express, Gordon had arrived back at the sidings very tired. He was just going to sleep when Thomas came up in his cheeky way. Wake up, lazy bones. Do some hard work for a change. You can't catch me. And off he ran, laughing. Instead of going to sleep again, Gordon thought how he could get back at Thomas. One morning, Thomas wouldn't wake up. His driver and fireman couldn't make him start. His fire went out and there was not enough steam. It was nearly time for the express. People were waiting, but the coaches weren't ready. At last, Thomas started. Oh dear, oh dear, he yawned. He fussed into the station where Gordon was waiting. Hurry up, you, said Gordon. Hurry up yourself, replied Thomas. Gordon, the proud engine, began making his plan to teach Thomas a lesson for teasing him. Almost before the coaches had stopped moving, Gordon reversed quickly and was coupled to the train. Get in quickly, please, he whistled. Thomas usually pushed behind the big trains to help them start, but he was always uncoupled first. This time, Gordon started so quickly they forgot to uncouple Thomas. Gordon's chance had come. Come on, puffed Gordon to the coaches. The train went faster and faster. Too fast for Thomas. He wanted to stop, but he couldn't. Beep, beep. Stop, stop. Hurry, 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 laughed Gordon. You can't get away, you can't get away, laughed the coaches. Poor Thomas was going faster than he had ever gone before. He was out of breath and his wheels hurt him, but he had to go on. I shall never be the same again, he thought sadly. My wheels will be quite worn out. At last they stopped at a station.
Thomas was uncoupled and he felt very silly and exhausted. Next, he went on to a turntable, thinking of everyone laughing at him. And then he ran on to a siding out of the way. Well, little Thomas, chuckled Gordon, now you know what hard work means, don't you? Poor Thomas couldn't answer. He had no breath. He just puffed slowly away to rest and had a long, long drink. Maybe I don't have to tease Gordon to feel important, Thomas thought to himself, and he puffed slowly home. Can I ride with you, Sonic? You want to ride with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, bud. No can do. Just kidding! Let's do! Sorry about that, guys. You're sorry. Very good, Bunny. Now, up we go with the new one here. Well, Antoine, I do declare, what would I ever do without all your help? Uh, it's nothing, really. Do tell. Sally, did y'all figure out why these silly throwing arms keep breaking? We're working on it, Bunny. Search data bank for entry. Variable, catapult. Allow for an extra 1,000 pound capacity and begin creation. Working. Ooh, you're really beautiful when you work, Princess Sally. Antoine, don't call me princess. Out here, the only royalty is Mother Nature. Mm, to me, you'll always be royalty. Yes. Uh-huh. The, the cotter pins. They're made of wood. So, when we increase our payload weight, they break. They've got to be metal. <gasps> it's fine. Thought I detected a foul odor. <laughs> you look a little green. Actually, you look better green. You should keep it. Uh-oh, Sal. What's wrong? I thought you were gonna help. But what about yesterday? What about it? Didn't I help yesterday? No. No? Is there an echo? But what about the day before yesterday? Sonic, are you gonna help us? I was, I can, I am. Thank you. I was built for speed and born for danger. Speed is my middle name and danger is my game. This is not a game, Sonic. We need metal cotter pins for the catapults. Cotter pins? What's a cotter pin? Huh? What? I know that. Cotter pins. Come on, Rotor. We got to do the ring thing. <gasps> is it time yet? Any second now. Here it comes. I got it. Hey, Sonic. How come you're the only guy who can use the power rings? My Uncle Chuck invented them for me so I could bring down dorks like Robotnik. I hate creepy old Robotnik. <laughs> yeah, don't we all? Yeah. <gasps> Did you get it? Yup. Get six of these, but they have to be metal. No prob. Be cool, Sonic. Way back. Stupid tree. Tails, what are you doing? Going to the big city. I'm excited for you, little bro, but that's nowhere near cool. How come? 
Because the big city is crawling with SWAT bots. They're all over the place just waiting for you to come to town so they can roboticize you. They are? Sure they are. Okay, but it's a long way back to Knothole. So if a Buzz Bomber gets real mad and gobbles me up, I bet you're going to feel just terrible. Okay, okay, you can go. But listen up. You stay in my backpack and guard the power ring, got it? Got it. Is it going to be dark when we get to the big city? That's the plan. Hold on, we're going to juice. <laughs> 